happy Tuesday before Halloween, everyone! This year, I want to try and show you guys how to be super sexy as a sexy cop. So, please enjoy as I contour every part of my face and then eventually put on a hat. Spoilers! Click it, click it. Double click it. Step number one is actually tying back your hair. This is what happens when you bleach your hair, kids. Hey guys, what do you call it when you clean your palette? A palette cleanser. Da 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 da. So I'm gonna use this palette for my contour, and I'm basically just gonna mix these two colors together. Boop, 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 boop. Now, find the parts of your face where definition goes. Uh huh. Oh. Uh -oh. oh my god. We're basically already done, as far as I can tell. Great. Next, we define your excellent jawline. Really good stuff. This is starting to look like a mistake. And now you have to do the sides of your nose. The basic concept of contouring is to put dirt on your face. Oh, good job, me. Next is my favorite step of all. When in doubt, blend it out. We are men. We will be swift as a pouring river. Those aren't the lyrics, yeah, I know. This is really not turning out how I thought. A mirror probably would have helped. Let's get closer and see if that changes anything. Blend with your fingers if the brush isn't doing enough. It kind of looks definition-y. Excellent. Now, everywhere where you don't have your contour, add your highlight. Down the center of your nosy. <laughs> it just looks like I'm a lifeguard. You guys, ever, you guys remember Highlights Magazine? Should I put on my neck? Really, I'm just actually trying to go over what I've done with the highlighter. There we go. And then, if we just cover up my neck. Now be careful if you, like me, have very fair skin, because the more you rub to try and undo your errors, the redder your face is gonna get. Yeah, this looks good. There you guys. Oh yeah, thicken up them brows. Oh my god. You know guys, I always thought I'd be a kind of hot dude, but um. Now the best way to add stubble I found into the experience of today is to take mascara and lace it over your present lady hair. Okay. Pretty good stuff. You know, the thing about the internet is that it makes this stuff look easy. And you know, I can't tell if this was my goal or not. <laughs> At what point do you stop and does it just look like you have mascara all over your face? This, this was, that's... <laughs> Wow, guys. You know, not everyone grows facial hair in the same pattern, so you know. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, there you go. Okay, um, <clears throat> and now for some finishing touches. Because I'm also Southern, and my hair is still doing this. <sighs> hey guys, it's me, the Babe Patrol, here to find some babes. Because Halloween is a time where you can score a lot of babes. And what's sexier than this whole getup? Well, I'll tell you, the sexiest thing of all is... It's consent! Surprise! Ha! We're actually gonna talk about sexual assault. So Halloween, as we all know, gets its rap as being kind of one of like the sexier holidays. And this Halloween is actually falling on a Saturday, which means no holds barred. There's gonna be so much drinking and partying. Whether you're in college, whether you're older than college, it's gonna be a pretty debauched weekend. And so as your self-proclaimed big sister, little sister, buddy friend, I just wanna talk for a minute about sexual assault and consent. Currently, statistics say that one in four women experience sexual assault in their lifetime. And in my ripe old age of 28, I actually think it's more like one in two. Now the area of consent is pretty tricky because the majority of rape is acquaintance rape and immediately everybody gets uncomfortable when it's somebody that you know or somebody in your friend group or even worse, worst of all, somebody that you're dating. And so if you or a friend or someone you know feel like they've experienced this and survived an experience like this, please check out the resources below and take a step towards your process of healing. And on the other side, if you or one of your friends you think maybe is about to act or behave in a way that you know they're better than, or if you yourself feel like you're really aggressing and pushing for this sexual opportunity and maybe you're a little too drunk and maybe your inhibitions are lowered and you just really want to get some, take a deep breath. Maybe go home and masturbate. Might be better than doing something that's gonna haunt somebody for the rest of their lives. I wanna speak at length about this, but I'm gonna do it on my second channel, so please feel free to check it out. I just wanted to send everybody off into a weekend of what is sure to be excellent, fun, super great partying with the message to stay safe and stay compassionate. If at the end of this weekend you have a friend who comes up to you who seems a little bit confused and like they don't really understand and maybe they're feeling guilty or they're blaming themselves for something, the best thing you can do as a third party is just listen. And as scary as it is, just allow them to talk through what happened. 
And now, as your reward for listening to me talk about these heavy and intense subjects, I have some exciting news. I also made a sweatshirt. It says, march to the beat of your own drumstick. And it's a sweatshirt honoring my favorite holiday of all holidays, Thanksgiving. So it's available to order this week only, uh, and then it's gonna go away. So if you wanna get a sweatshirt that's really cool, it says, march to the beat of your own drumstick. Anyway, check it out, buy it if you like it. Awesome, I know I like mine. And um, make sure you march to the beat of your own drumstick. Ha ha ha, get it? Me too, okay, have a great day.